Second Life, a rapidly expanding three-dimensional virtual world with many millions of registered users worldwide. Second Life has its own currency with a fluctuating US dollar exchange rate and operates a free market economy. Virtual items are the legal property of the avatar that hold them. Many education providers are using Second Life as a meeting space and research environment and increasingly as a teaching and learning space. Second Life allows simulation, role play and experiential learning where participants can engage in activities that are difficult, expensive, dangerous or even impossible in the real world. The Open University is a trailblazer in Second Life, which is of particular interest to distance learners. Well, there's, there's two main aspects for the OU. One is the social dimension of virtual worlds. So we have a, a quite a large number of students going into our islands on a regular basis now. And they have um, flats that they can rent. Uh, there's, a, there's a pub that they can meet in, uh, even a, a set of standing stones if they want to hold religious ceremonies. Uh, so it, it brings that vital social dimension that st students miss sometimes at a distance university. And then there's the other aspect, which is what we can do with, with learning. So we have a number of different activities taking place at the moment. We're looking at the possibility of having residential schools held in Second Life. There are various learning activities, small group activities and uh, lectures taking place in Second Life. And we're, we're just experimenting and seeing uh, what the most effective ways are for our students mm -hmm. to learn in that environment. Mm -hmm. I think uh, one of the aspects is the three-dimensional nature of it. So if you go into a web-based environment, a standard web page, it, see, it seems very flat when you come out of uh, a virtual world. And it's this ability to navigate in that, that three-dimensional space, particularly good for subjects where there are three-dimensional concepts such as architecture or uh, molecular models, for example, in chemistry, where you can navigate your way around a molecular model. So uh, it's this highly immersive nature of it. You kind of get feel that you're you're in that environment and that those are other people that you're interacting with um, in a way that you don't with other other types of systems. The Open University is now in its fourth year of Second Life activity. It manages a presence across several regions, including a core teaching and learning island. Spaces can be booked in advance from the OU website. Tutors and students' avatars are issued with a key to the book space. A presentation area with multimedia Various meeting areas, discussions both formal and informal. It's like you are having a conversation with someone because this is an avatar. You've created two people and you're talking. So it felt more like face-to-face, -face. yes. Mm -hmm. While email, you might uh, send an email to someone and you never get to visualize how they are or never get to meet them. But when you have an avatar, you feel as if you've already met the person and it, and it makes the communication easier. Within the Open University regions, Deep Think is a Second Life campus project of the Virtual MPhil, a computing department project for a new Masters of Philosophy program. The social community of OU students and staff is a dedicated home in Second Life. The village, together with its neighbouring ocean, is a social space open to all. And being students, they like to party too. <laughs>